guys, Felicity here. Um, please ignore the state that my hair is in right now. It's a uh, quarantine season right now, so I don't really care what my hair looks like. But aside from that, I just want to let you guys know that um, before I straightened my hair, I freshly washed and blow dried it like right before I straightened it. And when I blow dried it, I used this spray stuff. It's blow dry and styling primer by Design Essentials. And it's part of the blow dry and silk brush collection. So using this and this stuff, which I use when I did flat iron it, this is thermal protectant cream. Um, basically these two together is supposed to like ensure that your hair is silky when you do flat iron it or whatever and also the flat iron I use it has presets which I don't really appreciate we didn't know it had presets before I bought it but anyways um, the temperatures on here is 300 340 370 410 and 450 these are in Fahrenheit obviously and I use 410 if it wasn't a preset flat iron I would use 400 but, um, there is no 400, there's only like 410. The one below that is 370 degrees, and I tried that, and it didn't get it as straight as I wanted it. But, uh, yeah, so, there you have it. Um, just some background information before you watch the video. So, now we can move on. Hey again, guys. Let's start with the materials you'll need. Get your rat tail comb, which you'll use to part your sections. Get some sort of oil or pomade or something to grease your scalp. I'm using olive oil. Then this here is some thermal protectant cream, also supposed to make my hair have a silky finish. Get your clips, and I seem to be down two clips because the other two unfortunately broke. Last but not least, get your flat iron, and I set mine to 410 degrees. Between 400 and 410 degrees is what I usually set it to. To get started, oil your scalp. I oiled where the parts for my twist are and oiled within the twist as well. Then I put some oil in my hand and rubbed it all on my hair. Okay, so now I squeeze a good amount of the thermal protective cream in my hand and apply it to all sections of my hair. And the directions, it said apply a dime size amount, but no one really listens to that when you have like a lot of hair. So add as much as you need to make sure your hair is appropriately covered. When you're done adding the heat protectant, pin up your hair. I'm starting with a section at the bottom right of my head. Get your comb and part your hair so that it's a thin section and pin the rest of your hair up out of the way. Notice how the part is mostly a straight line. When you straighten your hair, you want to make sure you don't part your hair into big sections or else it won't be properly straightened. Comb that section out with the rat tail comb. And then hold the comb there and grab the flat iron with your other hand and clamp down near your roots. Since I'm in the right side of my head, I hold the comb with my right hand and flat iron with my left hand. You want to make sure that you only go through your section with the flat iron once to minimize the possible heat damage and at the most going two times through, especially when the temperature is really high. 
When you're done, comb and twist that section to make sure it doesn't try to get fluffy too quick. Now on to the next section. In all reality, I end up parting my hair with my hands because the comb ends up annoying me, but if you use your hands, make sure it's still a thin section that you're parting. So we're gonna comb it again. And put the flat iron against the roots and slowly bring it down. Every time you finish a section, untwist the previous section, comb both sections together, and then twist both of them together. So essentially, you're going to comb straight and twist. Okay, about 45 minutes later, I finished the back half of my hair and braided them. Now it's time for the front half, which takes the longest because it's thicker in the middle. So I take down the right side of my hair twists. Now I'm going to start making a small part and pin the rest out of the way and straighten it the way I did earlier. Alright, so when you start getting closer to the front of your head and when you're done with the middle, I start making a side part because that's how I want my hair to lay when I'm done with it. I personally make a curved part because I think it's pretty cool and less basic than a straight part, but you can do whatever you want. Okay, so here's how the part looks. So now I'm going to pin the other side of the hair up and start straightening the side of the part that's smaller, which is on my left side. So I finished the left side and most of the other side. Here's the last two sections. I'm straightening it away from the part as you can see. Okay, so everything is straight after like two whole hours. So I'm gonna take all the twists and braids out. Now I'm gonna comb everything and I use this comb because if it goes straight through with no problem, then I straightened it really good. But if it doesn't go straight through, I probably didn't straighten the roots good.
Make sure you comb the back of your head too and join both sides together so that there's not an awkward middle part. This part is sort of an extra step. When I'm done straightening my whole head, I usually go back and straighten my edges because I was too scared to do them when the flat iron was that hot. So I part my hair near the hairline. Then I turn my flat iron down to 370 degrees so I don't fry my edges off. Then I make smaller sections and straighten it. Okay, so when that's over with, I comb everything again. Alrighty, so everything is combed out now and you can see that my hair is pretty straight. And when I lift it, it doesn't stay in one place. So gravity is clearly working and it's bringing my hair back down. Here's a length check. This is what 11 years of determination, patience, and careful treatment gives you. Now it's time to strike some poses. Okay, yeah, I was being a little extra, but that's what having a new hairstyle does to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with friends. Bye!